just letting my hair air dry. Okay, ugh, fly. Hey gorgeous peeps, it's Holly. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm on a bit of a weight loss journey, have been my whole life practically, uh, so what's new? Um, I also make workouts that are fat, senior, injury and disability friendly and I think they're pretty awesome, even if I do say so myself. Um, anyway, sorry, I'm getting a bit excited. Point is, I am so glad you are here today, so thank you so much for clicking on this video. The challenge is starting tomorrow, it's Saturday night. I just realised I need to get myself prepared for tomorrow. So right now I am about to look up um, a meditation app, find out what meditation I want to do. And once again, I flip-flopped. I think I am going to try and meditate in the morning. Um, I've just heard that it's better, it's going to set me up for a better day. So I've got to find like 10 minutes where I can meditate in the morning. Um, and then I'm also, I'm actually starting to think of more of a like morning routine in general that I really want to get myself kind of into. Um, I've been doing a little bit of research and it's supposed to be good. So um, I just need to like prep everything. I'm actually, so in addition to, uh, where is it, over there on the wall, I've got my little... Uh, 67 intermediate checklist. I'm also gonna probably put up a, a list of things that I need to do, just like my morning ritual, the reminders of things that I need to do for that morning. Although I'm not sure if I will keep it on that wall because it's not actually, I need it somewhere a bit more visual. So I might end up putting it on the cupboard um, in front of me, in front of my uh, desk. So um, anyway, let's get on with working out what I gotta do for the morning. We are on day three of the 67 day group challenge. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very good about it. And I think, I think someone's gonna empty the bin in the park in a sec. This is gonna be embarrassing. I'll, uh, I'll just wait till he's gone. They're about to mow the lawn and uh, cut all the bushes and stuff. I think I'll get back to this a bit later. Okay, my gorgeous peeps, so they've gone, the park is kind of relatively empty, apart from the sound of my kids playing, but hopefully they'll give me a few minutes to get this done. Um, so, this week, again, it's gone pretty well. Over the weekend, we had my in-laws over for dinner. I made these absolutely delicious feta cheese, so they were like Greek turkey burgers. I've made them before actually and I've shown you the recipe so I'll try and link that video up here where I made them and of course I'll put a link to the description, uh, the recipe in the description box below in case you're interested but super um, low in calories, um, absolutely delicious, it does have olives in so it is a little bit salty um, and then what else did I, I made kebabs, I bought some, a nice bit of um, steak, chopped up, oof, it was delicious, and then we had a massive salad and I ate a little bit of potato salad. Um, just tried not to go overboard with the carbs as usual. Uh, we also took a hike on Sunday before my in laws came, and that was lovely. It was a beautiful, they had all their yellow mustard seed flowers out. Um, I think they're called mustard seed flowers. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to show you some footage from of that so you don't have to look at my face while I talk. Um, so this was a 1.8 mile walk. It took us about two hours, I kid you not. My kids are very, very, very slow walkers, especially the littlest one, and it was a hot day. It was very nice and windy, which was lovely. Nothing better when, than when it's windy, but it was also very hot, so the um, oldest one was getting a little bit annoyed by the end. She was getting a bit hot, and we, we had to keep stopping for snacks. She kept saying, I'm looking for a picnic table. Um, little did she know there wasn't one until we looped back around to the, uh, to the beginning. But what I wanted to talk to you about anyway was setting the bar low and why I think you should set the bar low. Before I even started the 67 day challenge, I was already trying to drink around 100 ounces a day and a kind of like, in my head, a goal of drinking a gallon, which is 128 ounces. But as long as I got my two bottles in, which was 100 ounces, I was happy. Um, and then I also, sorry, they're just distracting me. Um, food wise, not on a diet. I'm pretty anti-diet, as you know. Um, so I don't want to do anything 
I want to kind of be able to eat what I want to eat, but also be mindful. And I guess I'm sliding more towards intuitive eating. I, st I haven't quite gotten there yet and I haven't really read much literature on it. But I like the idea of intuitive eating, kind of eating what your body needs, nourishing your body, making sure you're getting all your vitamins. And that's just really what I'm trying to do um, in general for my diet. So if I want pizza, I will eat pizza. We tend to make our own pizza anyway at home. Um, so I always know what's going into my pizza. Um, I make, you know, most of our food from scratch, um, apart from chocolate. But I haven't had any chocolate this week. Anyway, what's my other point? So that was the food, that's the drink, and then the walking, my walking goal. So this 67 day challenge is five hours of activity a week. Um, and I'll be honest, I'm not yet vigorously sweating. Plus I'm not supposed to because I just have my eyebrows microbladed. So uh, not allowed to get sweaty. But I'm purposely purposely and I'm just honestly not there right now I'm just not in that headspace of wanting to or I do want to move my body I'm just not in the headspace to be vigorously working out I, I, I'm there's so many other things that I'm trying to get hold of and trying to turn into habits and make something that I can do every day that I don't have time to try and add in a workout like that at the moment and I'm okay with that because I am setting the bar low and this is okay we gotta get to the toilet thank you for the tea everybody who's been supporting me on buy me a coffee if you're interested, if you like my workouts, um, you can always support me, help me financially to keep running my channel and uh, making the workouts for you. No pressure, of course. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you anyway to everybody who has so kindly um, supported me. Anyway, back to the point. So, uh, obviously I got cut off yesterday and I didn't manage to finish recording. But I was talking about setting the bar low and essentially I was talking about my walks or walking, my activity and how I have really set the bar low. My aim, which it has been for the past couple of months, is to walk a mile a day. I use my fitness pal, MFP. No, no, map, map, my fitness is the one I use to track my walks every day. I mean, it's a free app, it does the job. Um, it's good for like walking. I don't know about calculating other um, sort of activity. I find all that stuff a bit of a pain in the butt, to be honest. So I just like to do it for, so I can just record how far I'm walking and make sure I get that one mile. And here's where I have set the bar low because there is a loop, like a block around my house that I can walk and it takes me to just, just over a mile. And I know that I can do that every day because we take the dog out in the evenings for a walk. Um, or if not, I can walk down the other way and sort of, I don't know, I can make it work because a mile for me isn't a huge amount. I know it's definitely not um, a, a massive, massive amount in terms of the, you know, arbitrary 10,000 steps a day um, that, you know, is kind of people like to do. Nothing wrong with the 10,000 steps either, but that is also an arbitrary number. Um, but you know, I kind of like to get, like the idea of, you know, it's just something to aim for, isn't it? But 10,000 steps isn't always doable, but one mile is doable. Here's the thing. Sometimes I think about saying, okay, I've been walking a mile every day for the past month. Why don't we up it to two miles? The reason I don't is because there are days when I just don't get to walk more. Like yesterday, so yesterday I didn't finish filming this or editing or anything, I think I already said that. Um, but I almost didn't even get my walk in, seriously, because the, the, it, it, I was just so stressed out yesterday with the kids. Um, I did barely cook dinner. And then once my husband finished work, I said, okay, we gotta go walk. Um, now you know and i wasn't even sure if he would want to go for a walk then because i usually take the kids and the dog and do the walk before he finishes work but he was like okay let's do it but oh it was just oh the kids 
ugh, but we did it. We did it in the end. And I knew if I had set my bar higher and said I wanted to walk two miles, I wouldn't have succeeded. And then I would have felt really bad about myself. Now that's not to say I don't, on days when I do have time, I don't try and push myself, I don't try and walk further and for longer. But at the moment for me, walking with my kids, it's enough of a struggle just to get that mile in because it takes so much time with them because they're jumping in and out of the push chair, they're on their scooters, they're not on their scooters, they're stopping to tread on bugs um, or pick up bugs or point out dog poo or a leaf. Excuse me, I'm just constantly interrupted and it can actually be quite painful at times trying to get that walk in but on days when it goes well and I can get them in the push chair um, sometimes on the weekends or in the afternoons when they're not at school I will take them and we will do like a three mile walk and I feel really good about that but that's because also it's extra and I had set the bar low so I think the the real importance of setting the bar low is to set yourself a goal that you can achieve um, so, you know, with anything, it's, you're going to feel m way more motivated, way more encouraged to continue to carry on, um, get the endorphins flowing, you know, happy hormones, because you are achieving your goals. And I think it's the same, you know, with a weight loss journey, anything you do, we always talk about starting out slow, doing these small, small baby steps and working your way up. And I think, you know, don't try and change everything at once. Do what you can do and do what works for you because this is your journey and you have to live with yourself. I could feel pressured and harassed into, not not exactly by anyone, I guess I'm just, I like I could put the pressure on myself that I should be doing a lot more that I should be working out more um, that I should even be doing hardcore workouts which I kind of should be but that's not where I'm at right now it's it, I'm just not at that place right now so getting the results that I'm getting and keeping that bar low so that I can achieve them is is what's working for me now. So I just really urge you to, you know, reevaluate. I know it's so tempting when you've got the motivation at the beginning to do so many things all at once and to go, you know, full force into things to say, I'm going to work out every single day. And I've talked about this so many times, but it really is the same principles. Set that bar low <laughs> and then you can't disappoint yourself. Anyway, let's get on to the more um, exciting part that I'm sure you've all been waiting for, which is my weigh-in. Um, I need to... Okay, so let me think. I think last week I was 223 pounds on the Dotteroo. This week... Hold on a sec, I gotta go check. Last week I weighed in at 223 pounds. This week surprisingly do you remember last week i put on a pound which was a little bit annoying um uh, but not totally uh what's the word uh unexpected uh this week i weighed in at 219 pounds point six 219 point six pounds which is a total of 3.4 yes i need a calculator to do the maths because i'm terrible um 3.4 pounds what the heck like that is really good actually completely unexpected um i'm just really proud of myself because another thing as well just um yeah i i can't believe that i don't feel slimmer to be honest so i don't know what the total is what did i so is it like 11 pounds or 10 pounds that's like 14 pounds so i've lost a stone but normally this bit goes first but I still feel like I have a right old double chin and normally the double chin is one of the first thing that goes on me. Anyway, I am also, can I just get like a clap or something? Because I was at Trader Joe's yesterday and I was so tempted. I was like, it's weigh-in day, I could do it. I walked past a pound plus and I didn't pick it up. I did not buy a pound plus of chocolate. It's like, I was so tempted, but then I was like, it won't be worth it because I'll be eating it all week. That's the thing, because in my head I'm like, I can eat something on Tuesday on way day and sort of then get back to it. And I was just like, you know what? It's not even worth having it in the house. Um, 
So yeah, £3.4. Thanks all for sticking with me so far. Uh, let's see what this week, this week, upcoming week brings. I'm wishing you all the best of luck. I've been updating on the community tab my 67 day challenge. I've been updating there daily and also on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me, if you don't, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. All right, see you later. Bye. <laughs>